5,000 degrees with a Lava Hot Podcast and host Joseph Connell Jr. You'll hear from ordinary people who are doing extraordinary things. From tech startup CEOs and marketing professionals to authors, investors, and sales trainers, this show will be packed with information to help you level up in life or business, taking you from on fire up to lava hot. Get ready to burn this mother f- down. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Lava Hot Podcast. I'm your host, Joe Connell, and today with me I have Bubba Almany, award-winning, uh, award-winning celebrity bodyguard. Uh, he has protected some of the top names in the world, including my personal mentor, uh, Mr. Grant Cardone, uh, and he's also the founder of Bubba's Celebrity Basketball Game. Uh, and I personally know he is a killer on the basketball court. I've had the, <laughs> the displeasure of trying to cover him once before, and it was not an easy task. Bubba, I appreciate you coming on the show. I appreciate having you. Uh, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Um, thank you so much. And I really appreciate, um, you know, having me across your platform and uh, taking your time out to um, interview me today. So uh, everything is great. Thank you. Yes, sir. So, Bubba, I want to start at the at the very beginning i, I want to understand what got you to uh this career choice of being in the security field and i want to know yes. where it started and kind of like the evolution of it all right great so uh really i just started very young um you know dating back to you know about 10 years old i was in martial arts so um have trained now for 15 years so um when i was around 17 years old I got my first security experience um, down in Ocean City, obviously, which you're familiar with, um, right on the right on the beach at the Dew Tour. Um, it was a major BMX concert and skate venue, yeah. and um, just right away, you know, I was uh, blessed at a young age to get an opportunity, and not just that, but uh, to discover it was my passion, purpose, and true divine calling in life. And uh, you know, to realize that it's so young uh, is, is, you know, just a testament to the goodness of God. And um, just ever since, you know, then I got into, um, you know, working in, in uh, security at hotels and casinos and recreation centers and uh, just kept evolving in my training and getting as much certifications as I could. And, um, you know, tips training and uh, CPR, AED, <clears throat> you know, first aid. And then um, eventually uh, my first client at 19 was Vinny Guadagnino. Uh, from MTV's uh, Jersey Shore, and just really the rest, um, just after that, just, um, you know, getting to New York, um, I connected with Swift on Demand, uh, who at the time was notoriously known uh, for being on Love and Hip Hop New York, and also was uh, the producer for Cardi B, um, you know, who helped propel and launch her career, and uh, just right away, you know, with uh, connecting with him, he was like, you know, the first day I met him, I had already started working for him. Um, you know, pretty much hired me right on the spot. And, you know, uh, we went to the mall that day and I was already working for him. So um, it was really a blessing. And um, then, you know, he was uh, at a music studio. That's where I had met him. And, uh, you know, through there was a lot of connections and clientele. And eventually, you know, had just really started uh, networking and, and getting my name out there and, uh, re- you know, have gone on now to protect you know, high net worth individuals, um, high risk, high profile, uh, some of the top names, you know, A-list, um, all the way up to the Ali family um, and, and things of that nature. So um, just a testament to, uh, you know, having a strong faith, uh, working tremendously hard, uh, making sacrifices and, you know, whatever th- your dream is, just holding on to it, protecting it and never letting it go. Yeah. Yeah. So, so one thing that I love in, in following you over, over the years and, you know, on Facebook, you know, we started out as friends cause we've played basketball, uh, locally and, um, you know, it's been impressive for me to see not just this career that you've, that you've created, but you've also created, um, this, this brand as well that goes with it, which is, you know, really cool to see. And one thing that I really like about, you know, that process of building a brand is that, uh, the unwavering faith, you know, the, the fact that uh, your, your, your faith has been at the forefront of everything that you do. Um, you know, I, I love seeing that. And, you know, I, I want to talk a little bit about, you know, establishing a brand and 
because naturally that's what leads to uh, different opportunities that will come. Um, what has been your experience as you started building out this, this brand that has led to so many different opportunities? Yeah, really, it's just, um, you know, believing in yourself, uh, the ultimate belief. You know, if you don't believe in yourself, you know, really, who else is going to believe in you? Um, you're going to have a hard time selling yourself to others. And uh, really, I just start, you know, small with fundamentals. Like, um, really, a lot of it is from within. You know, we already have the skills and, um, you know, the traits and everything that we need to be successful in life. You know, the inner workings and if we can really catapult them. Uh, to be the best that we can be inside, you know, with our faith, our heart, our mind, um, you know, just uh, they won't teach you this at Harvard or any fancy university, but life is all about people and it truly matters how you treat them. So um, whatever you're building, a business, a foundation, a nonprofit, uh, whatever it is, you know, you have to found that on people skills, you know, with people skills, you can sell a service, you can sell a product, um, you know, and just really, uh, your reputation is everything. And, <clears throat> you know, understanding that, you know, one or two bad experiences um, can really start um, kind of like a, a catapult effect, um, you know, a, a downwards, uh, you know, cycle. So uh, just treating, you know, I, I kind of go, um, whether it's a, a regular business client or all the way up to, you know, a real leader, I treat everyone like the president, you know, I just, um, when, when I'm, you know, uh, hired for services. So, uh, just go above and beyond and, you know, just be the best that you can be every day. Yeah, absolutely. So I, I want to dive in a little bit to uh, to the celebrity basketball game. Uh, I'm, I'm curious, you know, what, what inspired that and, you know, wh where you you plan to take that? I know you had the first one uh, here recently uh, here in Snow Hill. And um, yes. it, do you plan on this being an annual thing? I want to I learn a little bit more about it. Yes, yeah, so absolutely. Um, definitely going to be an annual event. Um, and it's something that we're looking to take all across the nation, you know, to potentially different cities, different states, um, and just really growing that momentum of, of hope, inspiration, being an answer prayer to people, um, you know, with uh, the dear causes that we look to bring awareness to, especially with the bullying prevention, the mental health. Um, those are things that are just, um, you know, plaguing and affecting so many, unfortunately. And uh, they kind of coincide, you know, respectfully. Uh, somebody being bullied, it's very well. They could have thoughts of suicide or depression, anxiety, uh, you know, a lot of traumas that they don't, uh, that they shouldn't be going through. Um, so, you know, just it's um, really it just started with, you know, knowing uh, the connections that I have. And, um, you know, I'm really blessed for that and grateful and said, you know, what good is all of this if I'm not using it uh, to create a better real to um, help children, help people in need. And uh, that's really just what I did. And, you know, um, we're going to continue to bring uh, bring this event. Um, and we're going to, you know, most importantly, look to, to raise the impact every year. Yeah. No, I love it. I mean, not just a bodyguard, but uh, almost like a bully guard. I mean, to be able to go out there and spread a message of, um, you know, uh, of hope or love or admiration or even faith, you know, just watching what you've done and how you've used your platform to really better the community around you and the people that follow you um, has been really impressive. I, I, I want to ask a question, and I think the best way to say it would be in looking at, you know, the, the years of this career as it's, as it's flourished and it's going to continue to flourish, what would you say you're most proud of uh, throughout the, you know, past, uh, you know, several years that you've been been in this industry um i think it's a lot um it, it's a it's a tough question you know um it, it's many things um for a few i'll give you a few scenarios for example um you know i think uh being on detail at the 9 11 memorial commemoration in 2018 um with you know the head of the u.s army and you know presidents vice presidents and governors of uh, New Jersey, New York, you know, Bill de Blasio, the mayor of NYC, and, uh, you know, just so many influential, powerful people. Um, and obviously, not only just that, <clears throat> but what that day meant, uh, you know, in history, and uh, just a, a true testament of people coming together. And, um, you know, just, you know, that was one of them, um, working for the Ali family and still working for them. 
um, you know, bodyguarding Muhammad Ali Jr. and Dr. Khalila Kamacho Ali, the former wife of Muhammad Ali. And, um, you know, just so many more things and um, being able to be in a position where I was able to donate bodyguard services uh, to youth victims of, of serious and habitual bullying. Um, it just, you know, that, that's a life changing and life saving experience for those kids. And so, you know, definitely proud of those things and, you know, bringing a celebrity uh, basketball game that hosts some of the top names in the real to a small town um, that respectfully not many people have heard of, you know, in Snow Hill, Maryland. And just to show people that, you know, if we could do something like that in Snow Hill, anything is possible. Like, never limit yourself. And, uh, you know, just really just uh, so those are some of the things. And, um, yeah. Cool, cool. Yep. So, I mean, you, you know, you definitely have a, a, a good list of things to be proud of. Um, I know as a Eastern Shore local, um, just following you, you know, I'd say as an Eastern Shorean, uh, you know, proud to see uh, an individual come from the shore that, you know, is out there creating uh, some sort of following and is using that following for something good. I mean, it's definitely good to see. And, uh, you know, where I, I want to know where where the future goes. You know, where do you see things going over the next five, ten years? Because I don't see you slowing down any bit. Um, you know, what, right. what do you feel the future holds for, uh, for Bubba? Um, I just think, you know, every year, um, and really just every day, you know, like I said, having that mindset, um, you know, to be the best that you can be to envision and, and empower yourself that every day is the best day of your life and just inspire, empower, educate as many people as I can, um, you know, through, um, outreaches and events and speakings and, you know, the celebrity basketball games and um, just be of service to others, you know, most importantly, and, um, you know, grow this um, celebrity basketball game to be one of the biggest in the world and not just the biggest, but um, the most impactful because uh, that that's what I strive to do, to have impact, to make a difference, um, to touch others and um, to just continue in, in my career um, and, you know, continue bodyguarding, you know, um, names that we all look up to or, um, you know, people that I can make a difference in their lives, most importantly. And, um, you know, many other things uh, will come along the journey and really just, um, you know, helping helping children uh, that are being bullied and really anybody that's being bullied because, uh, you know, bullying can happen in, in adults and teens and children. Um, and, you know, what bullying really is, is abuse. So, uh, we have to eradicate that behavior in our society. Absolutely. Yeah, and, you know, I, I, I love it. You know, especially, you know, it, the fact that you want to have an impact on the on, on the younger environment. You know, it, oftentimes I'll ask a question, and I'm kind of curious what, what this would be for you. But if you could go back to, you know, those teen years, uh, now that you've, you know, created a career, is, is there any specific advice you would give young Bubba uh, coming through high school uh, as you're approaching adulthood and, and all that jazz? Um, I think, you know, just that anything is possible and, and keep God first always and, uh, you know, be very aware of the company you keep, you know, and um, that's very important in life, you know, because um, success indivi individually is almost impossible. Uh, everything takes a team or a family or a collective effort. Um, you know, whether it's your supporters or you have a team or whatever it may be. And, um, you know, they say, show, show me your circle and I'll show you your future. So yeah. it's very important. Yep. Yeah. I, 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 there's a, a saying that I've always followed. It's the, you're the, you're the, you're, ah, excuse me. You are the average of the five people you associate with the most. Uh, more often than not, if you look at the behaviors of those five people, you probably behave similar uh, if you look at the bank accounts, it's probably within a couple thousand dollars or at least the combined average of those. So, you know, absolutely, you're definitely the circle that you keep. Um, so, right. absolutely. so tell me, for, for, for the uh, celebrity bodyguard side of things, um, I would imagine you're, you're constantly taking on new clients, uh, if yes. I'm guessing. Yes. Yep. yep. Is, has there been like a particular type of, uh, clientele that you prefer over the other, if that makes sense, or your like ideal client? Um, you know, 
uh, fortunately, I've been pretty blessed. Um, you know, I haven't come across, you know, really any um, disrespectful or rude or, um, you know, like uh, really uh, bizarre clients. So uh, grateful for that. Um, you know, uh, I love working with uh, the Cardone family when I was with them. Um, I liked, <clears throat> excuse me, I liked working. Um, I love working with um, Dali family, um, just what they can teach you about. Uh, you know, faith, manners, etiquettes, respect, um, and just, you know, using your voice and, and platform to uh, go out here and make some true change in this world. And, um, <clears throat> you know, that's a family, <clears throat> excuse me, that's a family that is respected and just resonates with so many. So um, just to, to, to have that mentorship and guidance from them and also to have, uh, you know, the honor of, of, of protecting them and uh, preserving uh, the legacy of Muhammad Ali, you know, that his legacy still lives on, uh, even though, you know, he's gone on to heaven it is, um, is a big honor and it's something I don't take lightly. So. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so Bubba, I, I, I appreciate you uh, taking the time uh, to, to come on to the show as we, you know, get close to, to wrapping up the episode. I wanted to ask, you know, for individuals that uh, may be interested in, uh, the celebrity basketball game or any individuals that might be looking for somebody on the security side of things. Uh, you know, is, is there a specific platform that you would prefer people to try to reach out, follow things like that? Yes. So, um, I can be contacted, uh, via <clears throat> through my website, uh, com. B U B B A A L M O N Y.com. Um, through there, you can email me, you can reach out <clears throat> and uh, across all social media at Bubba Almany, B-U-B-B-A-A-L-M-O-N-Y. Um, you can reach out through me there as well and, uh, keep up with, you know, all the workings that I'm doing with the celebrity game, with, uh, my security business, um, you know, uh, speaking endeavors, really just about anything that I'm doing. It'll be on one of those, uh, channels. <clears throat> cool. Cool. For the celebrity basketball game, uh, uh, where do you plan to have the the next one? Is that going to be here so, in Snow Hill, or are you are you exploring some other cities right now? Yeah, we. Um, it, it's interesting you ask because bef before um, the first game was actually played, um, I had so many people reaching out, like from uh, Texas and uh, Minnesota, Florida, Hawaii. I mean, just all these different places wanted me to bring this event there. Um, you know, I'm, I'm glad we brought it to Snow Hill. Um, you def you could definitely see an impact on that community that it made. And just, I mean, there wasn't an ounce of negativity in that building that day. It was just so much positivity. And um, even a, a, a young man um, had did an interview on the red carpet. It, uh, he was probably, you know, 10 to 12 years old. He was uh, with one of the football teams there. And he said, you know, I never saw myself being in an event like this because I, I was a bully. And he said, you know, this event showed me I can change and that there's a there's so much there, you know, there's a better way of conducting myself. And uh, that's powerful, you know, for a young kid to have such a mature outlook just after one event. Um, but, you know, we're we're looking at uh, possibly um, New York or New Jersey, potentially um, to, to have this event um, this year. But it would definitely be annual. And, um, you know, looking to move it around as well. And who knows, um, you know, it's not to say that we couldn't come back to Maryland at some point in the near future as well. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we're just exploring some other options because um, we want to inspire communities that inspire other communities as well. Yep. Um, just for a point of reference, because I'm not sure if you've already got a lineup of individuals that would be coming to the the up and coming event, but um, who were some of the guests that you had at the, the first annual? one? So the first one, we had um, NFL Hall of Famer Terrell Owens. Uh, we had uh, Dr. Ali, Muhammad Ali's former wife, uh, Muhammad Ali Jr. We had the real famous Harlem Wizards, uh, Drummer Boy Fresh. He's a um, iconic uh, Grammy Award winning music producer, um, you know, produced some of the biggest anthems ever. Um, just so many other names. We had uh, Salisbury Cheer. We had UMES Cheer. Um, all five branches of the military. Um, you know, so many, so many people. And um, you know, just it, it was a you know from top to bottom, 
Uh, we just wanted to invite, you know, everybody. Um, we had senators there, mayors, council members. Um, so it was really um, just a collective call of coming together. You know, uh, we need that in these times of, you know, the pandemic and uh, just everything else, uh, the injustices. And, um, you know, a lot of times you're seeing negativity in, in this real. So we really have to uh, just pull everyone together. Cool, cool. So yeah, I, I like having that as like a point of reference that you had a very diverse mix of different celebrities. It makes it a true, uh, you know, celebrity basketball game when it's, you know, uh, different walks of life. And, um, you know, it's very cool that you're using your platform to try to push a, a positive message to carry, um, you know, to carry that forward. And again, I, I, I love to see that the underlining of that is obviously you're a man of faith and to have that faith be the, the focal point or the driver in everything that you're doing is, you know, truly, truly uh, wonderful to see. Um, well, Bubba, uh, you know, here at the end of the episode, I wanted to just say thank you for coming on. I appreciate you taking some time out to, to come share your message with us. And, um, you know, for anybody that's listening, if they're wanting to, access or uh figure out how to follow bubba on my website uh lava hot podcast you can go to lava hot podcast forward slash bubba i'll have links to his profiles there uh, along with his website for both um the security side and for celebrity basketball so bubba i appreciate you coming on and uh if there's any any last things you'd like to share uh feel free all right. Um, I, I just want to firstly say thank you, um, you know, for your time today and for bringing me across your um, outlet here. And um, just lastly, um, you know, my words of encouragement uh, for everybody, you know, whether you're uh, doing something business wise or any endeavor in life, uh, just keep God first and, um, you know, treat others how you want to be treated. And uh, most importantly, um, again, you know, link your subconscious thoughts to your conscious thoughts and go to sleep grateful so you can wake up happy and uh, just make a difference in the real. Love it. Awesome. That, that was the perfect way to close out this episode, I believe. So again, Bubba, thanks for coming on. And uh, I look forward to having you on again, especially as you get closer to the, the next celebrity basketball game. I think it'd be great to have you on and, you know, just share that just as we're getting ready to roll. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Thank you. You've been listening to the Lava Hot Podcast with Joseph Connell Jr. Do you want to level up your business in 2022? Then visit us at golavahot.com for a free marketing analysis.